Hi guys, this is Tao and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing um, a video on my nighttime skincare routine which involves, you know, taking care of makeup and just follow-up steps. First step would be uh, to remove makeup. Um, so just as I know, I have, um, I would say, combo skin. It used to be extremely dry. Now it's more on like um, slightly normal. I, I guess it would be like combo to dry. So on the T-zone, it's kind of normal. Sometimes, you know, after a full day of makeup, it gets a little bit oily. But on my cheeks, it's mostly dry. Um, and I am, I have pretty sensitive skin as well. So um, if I'm using, you know, wrong products, um, I tend to get clogged pores very easily, you know, and that can lead to like acne and all that stuff. So um, overall, I would say my skin is pretty temperamental. So we just gotta treat it with the respect it deserves. Um, so anyways, first step will be removing makeup. I typically do a two-step process. One will be um, like actually taking off makeup. The second step will be washing, right? So I use something like the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Um, like something that is like a cleansing oil, cleansing balm type thing just to dissolve the makeup. Um, I'm out of this empty, right? I'm out of this uh, cleansing balm. So right now I'm using the um, Soft Timo Speedy Cleanse Off Oil. I used to use MAC Cleanse Off Oil religiously and I still, it's still one of my top favorites. You know, I think these work, it, they work well. Um, I really like the, the cleansing balm. The Soft Timo Speedy one is also, it works really well and it's very affordable. Um, I just don't like it as much, but you know, in a pinch it works. So I just pump like two pumps and I put this um, just on my uh, dry skin, just all over makeup and I kind of massage it a little bit. And it just feels like an oil, like a really light oil. And I tend to focus a little bit more on my lashes just because I wear waterproof mascara. Now I don't wear contact lenses so I can't speak to the fact if it will irritate eyes. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't to me. And as you can see I'm like getting pretty close to my eyes, right? And you can see the makeup dissolving. And with the cleansing oil and cleansing balm, um, it typically just, you know, um, it works to dissolve the makeup and then you rinse it with water and it emulsifies, it turns white and it kind of uh, cleanses your skin. It turns into kind of a face wash. So I'm going to go and rinse my face. So you can see it, it turned white, right? So I'm just rubbing it more just to get off the make the product. Okay, and then the second step to my cleanse routine. This is everywhere. The second step of my cleansing routine would be the um, actual face wash. Was that in frame? Face wash. And um, I'm not really loyal to any particular product. Right now, I'm using the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. I think I got it because it's on sale. It's, it's okay. It's not my fave. Um, and you just kind of put it over your face as you will with a face wash. And it just... Um, more thoroughly cleanse your skin because now the makeup is gone so okay so then I pat my skin dry and now we will move on to the actually like the skincare 
part of the routine. So I um, right after I wash my face, I tend to use a kind of a toner slash essence type thing. Um, I am using Tatcha the Essence. I'm like almost done with it. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I don't know if all toners work. Um, and at first I didn't, I wasn't sure if this was working, the Tatcha one. First of all, this was like stupid expensive. It's like $95 for a bottle. I got this in a set of really good value on um, QVC. Um, so I was able to justify it, but I would not pay $95 for this. It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, but anyways, so I use it. It feels like water on the skin. Um, it, at first when I was using it, I didn't notice a difference, but then I um, switched to another product. Um, I switched to the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Balancing Softener. My skin broke out like crazy. Um, so then I went back to this and my skin was calm again. So I'm just using this up. Um, so if you want, you can give this a try. I will keep I will keep an eye on for um, QVC because they usually have really good touch-up deals. Um, one thing though, pro tip, don't be like an idiot like me and put on auto pay or like the auto delivery thinking like, oh, I'm just going to lock in this deal and then I'm going to try it out and if I don't like it, I can cancel it and then forget to cancel it and you get charged again when they ship. I mean, it's still a good deal, but still expensive. But anyways, so touch up the essence. So once that's, you, I just like patted it in like you saw. And then I followed up with um, some type of serum. Um, the serum just penetrates into your skin um, on a deeper level. So I think the new, I don't know, like the, the dermis and epidermis and all that stuff. I don't know. I just know that serum is supposed to penetrate the skin on the deeper level and then you lock it in with a moisturizer. So typically, with a serum, honestly, I like, I don't really have a, like a, what you call it, like a staple. Right now, I'm using the light press serum. Uh, it's a crystal ice plant for calming and hydrating. This is a small size. It's kind of liquidy. It's like a gel consistency. Just put a little bit on. And then I put groceries. I tend to avoid my eyes because I like to have eye cream for that. And then just kind of like kind of pat it in. Um, but anyways, so that's done. And then I'm gonna do an eye cream right now. I'm using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I just got this, so I'm still kind of testing it out. So far, um, jewelry's still out, so. I kind of warm it up between my fingertips and just kind of dab it around the eye. I have a Tatcha Ageless um, super fancy one that's like super expensive um, that I got in the set but I gave that to my mom because you know Asian daughter right whatever the fancy stuff and nice stuff I get I give it to my mom and then if she doesn't like it then it gets back to me um, so I got my eye cream on and then I'm gonna do a moisturizer I'm um, using the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. I got the super size one, again, QVC. I really like QVC. They have a lot of like bundles and sets that are very good value. I'm not sponsored, obviously. Yeah, QVC and Costco website. 
um, they have really really good deals on makeup skincare. Um, and Costco website also has a lot of Korean skincare products too. That's where I got my um, the Blythe serum. Anyways, so this one is vanilla bean scent. Not a huge fan of this one. I thought I would like it because I like gourmand scent. Like I like the sugary, the bakery, the all that like the sweet scents. Not a huge fan of this. Um, I had their Juicy Mango. Oh, love. Loved it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see you probably see me talk about that in my stories. Loved, loved, loved the Juicy Mango scent. The Vanilla Bean one is not what I expected. I mean, it's still pleasant. It's just meh. So, that is it. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling super fancy, I throw a sleeping mask on there. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if I should today. Maybe, yeah. I'm gonna throw a sleeping mask on there just because my skin is kind of acting up. It's a Laneige um, water sleeping mask. Just to kind of lock everything in. I'm not a skincare expert by any means. I just play around with products and test it out on myself and it, whatever works, works. Um, and this is my current routine uh, and of course I'm just a lot of times trying stuff out. Um, if there are products that I've used and I really liked, I will let you know. But um, yeah, I'll list everything I use down below. But this is just my current nighttime skincare routine. I will do one on my day daytime skincare routine. Um, so just so you guys can see the difference and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave your comments down below, any comments, questions you have and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.